What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we are checking out the third generation AirPods and these uh, quite conveniently have the MagSafe charging case on them. You can see right here, uh, which doesn't come by default on the AirPods Pro, but it is here on the AirPods 3. Now, we're gonna take a look at this and we're gonna compare it actually to the AirPods Pro. And I also have the original AirPods right here. So we got all three of them, an AirPods extravaganza. And we're gonna take a look at them and compare between the, the three of them. But I mean, inside of the box, there's really nothing too fancy that we have to look at. Uh, we just have uh, the regular paperwork, blah, 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 no stickers. And we have our AirPods right here. And beneath that, we have a charging cable, which I will save for a rainy day. Uh, mind you, this is a USB type C to lightning cable. So that's kind of handy, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and put that back in the box there. We'll throw all that off to the side over here and take a look at our new AirPods. And yes, this looks very similar right off the bat to the AirPods Pro case. So we have AirPods Pro over here, regular AirPods over here. Um, they are very, very similar in design, as you can see there, except the AirPods uh, third generation is just a tad, uh, it's a tad skinnier than the AirPods Pro. Anyway, let's, let's go ahead and pair these up and uh, we'll kind of get into everything here. All right, now I'm sure many of you are familiar with the whole flip it open and you have the chip in there and the little pop-up comes up where you can easily set up your new AirPods, which we are doing right now. That's pretty much it. I mean, setting them up is, is actually really just a breeze. You flip it open and you're done. So now that we have these all set up, let's look at the design here because, well, I mean, compared to the original AirPods, um, I think that the design is, is quite, drastically different. I mean, here are our generation one AirPods. And you can see here that we ha now have a much shorter design, something that looks a lot more like an AirPod Pro, but without the silicone tips on the end. And I personally am not the biggest fan of these little silicone tips. AirPod Pro right here, and we have AirPod third generation on this side. And you can see that they're very much inspired by uh, one another, or well, I guess I should say the third generation AirPod is inspired by the AirPod Pro. I personally, AirPods are something, um, the ear pods or the regular AirPods have always fit in my ear really nicely. And it's gonna depend on the person. Like when I stick these in my ear, they fit perfectly. They're not gonna fall out. I can jog with them, etc. I don't have any problems with AirPods fitting in my ear, but I realize that's not the case for everyone, which is why AirPod Pro is very nice because you do have a different silicone tips here that you can swap out to, you know, make it fit inside of your ear better. So I realize that these aren't gonna be a good fit for everyone. Um, but that being said, I still think that for me, they're, they're a great fit. And that's that's gonna be a person to person thing. I can't tell you that they fit great because it depends on the hole in your head, the size of that hole <laughs> anyway. Now, of course, the big thing that you do not get with these AirPods third generation is going to be noise cancellation and transparency mode. We do not have that. If you want that, you're gonna have to move up to the more expensive AirPods Pro because that's what they offer. They offer noise cancellation and they offer the transparency mode where you can actively hear things from the outside coming in and they work very, very well. Um, I really do like that component of them, but you do not get that on the third generation. So if that's not important to you, big deal, you know? These are $179, I think these are $250. Of course they go on random sales here and there. But at the end of the day, um, that's what you're not getting uh, with these. But what you are getting, and something that I haven't really mentioned yet, except uh, in the beginning, is we have not only wireless charging, but we have a MagSafe charging case here. So if we get my handy dandy MagSafe charger here. You can see that these will stick on to the MagSafe charger, right? Pretty cool, and then it charges it up. Now, one thing that I don't like about these white cases, adding the MagSafe charging is cool, but these are so glossy. These cases are so glossy. If you could see, 
I don't even think the camera will pick it up very well. This first gen AirPods case is just scratched to all hell. Uh, same thing with my AirPods Pro case. It's pretty scratched. It just scratches up very easily. With that being said, I definitely recommend you check out uh, one of these cool cases from this video sponsor, ESR. So ESR has a brand new case for the third generation AirPods. I think that their products are affordable and they're functional and they're great. So what you get inside of this box real quick, the case right here, and you actually get a little cleaning brush with this as well. So we have a little clip here that you can attach to this ring and be able to connect it to a belt or anything like that. This case actually is nice in the fact that it has MagSafe compatibility. It includes their Halo Lock uh, compatibility. So if we just go ahead and uh, push the AirPods in here, go ahead and get that all settled. We do have a little hole up here for the LED light, which you can see shining right through the front there. And on the back here, we have little magnetic points, which will lock right on and charge up your AirPods. I think that these cases are nice. This case was literally only $10 on Amazon. And like I said, uh, this case does stay on pretty well by itself. Um, but if you need the extra security, there are little adhesive strips inside of here. But I just think that it's a pretty cool case, especially for 10 bucks and having their Halo Lock system in here that works with MagSafe is definitely a win. Check it out. I'll leave a link down below uh, to the new ESR case for the third generation AirPods if you wanna pick one up for yourself. Okay, now as far as sound goes, because I was literally just testing the sound right now, uh, what's cool is you can have, I can have an AirPods Pro in one ear and the AirPods third generation in the other ear and play the same song at the same time. I might be a little risky by saying this, but I think the third generation AirPods sound better to my liking anyways. I like I like the sound profile that these have. The, the, they just sound a little more crisper, though the AirPods Pro is a little louder. And that's basically because we have uh, this little silicone tip here sealing inside of my ear. Um, so that makes all the difference in, in terms of um, the isolation that it provides. So maybe it's not necessarily louder, but it's definitely more isolated. But I do tend to lean towards preferring the sound of the third generation AirPods. Um, I think that they sound pretty good overall. Like definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, I, I thought that they were going to be just out of the box subpar compared to uh, our little uh, AirPods Pro right here, but the third generation AirPods, not too shabby. They're nice and full. They got crisp high ends. Um, they kind of have a, kind of a scoop thing going on um, in the EQ, but I mean, I have to say like the next generation AirPods Pro are definitely going to be fire, um, but I don't like the silicone tips. They just, I've never liked the silicone tips and me having ears that fit AirPods nicely. I think that the AirPods third generation are definitely a win. I mean, here's just like, I just have a whole mess of AirPods laying out here on the table. AirPods Pro, definitely great if you need the noise cancellation. The transparency mode is cool, but um, I would say I use it less than the noise cancellation. But the AirPods, the third generation AirPods, these are definitely something to think about. At 179, it's a pretty good deal. I would say the only differentiator here is whether or not you need noise cancellation. If that's important to you, go for these or wait for a new generation of the pros or just go ahead and pick these up. Well done, Apple. Well done. Bravo. But let me know what you think about Apple's third generation uh, AirPods down in the comments section below. I think they're a win. I'll probably use these more than my AirPods Pro because again, I'm just not a fan of the little silicone tip. So let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this one. I enjoyed making it for you. I love all of you and thank you so much for the support. Once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.